I think I, in the back of my mind, always wanted to be a farmer ever since I was a kid. So I started looking at the paper and saw this farm and it took a while to decide to come out and look at it and we finally did. The first time we came out here to see it, saw this old house down here that was in bad shape and small. It didn't seem like a very nice place to move into, but he promised me a new house. I don't think I ever tried to talk him out of it. I think I was for it. I promised your mother that I'd build her a new house if she'd move out here, so that's, that's how we ended up here. I started in March. We moved in in the middle of December. Brother Jake helped some, and a fellow by the name of Don Folk. I did everything but the wiring, and Jim Harding did the plumbing. And it worked out pretty well. So I love my house. <laughs> the house that Dad built. I like the barn. It's it's not a large, large barn, but it's plenty large for what we wanted. We moved two horses in from Ernie Wissinger's, uh, which is 58th Street in Altoona. It was a long, long ride the day before we moved in. They're really the only animal I ever cared for. Jim Harding and I went several times, rode up through the woods and, and uh, enjoyed them. The first tractor was a crank tractor and it was frequently hard to start. We had a hard time the first couple summers. After a couple short years, we, we did get better equipment. And of course, we had an awful lot to learn. It's a lot of work, and as you get older, it's a little more work, but we're still capable of doing it with other people's help. Sometimes you're forced into it, and sometimes you just enjoy it. <laughs> It's better than sitting around playing tiddlywinks. When the weather's right it, it, and the machinery doesn't break down, it's a joy. <laughs> All his hard work made it great. It was a good place to raise children. People would say, what are you raising the farm? I'd say, first I used to say girls, and I, and I had to switch it to 
children when Jay was born. <laughs> it's been a good place to raise the kids, just like he said, and we have many wonderful memories. They could play outside, and we didn't worry about them too much. They got a lot of fresh air. Lots of times they'd have their friends, especially some friends from church, to come out and spend the weekend or swim in our pool or go sled riding. There's always something to do, like Jolie's song says. <laughs> There's always something to do. We just always think we're making memories for our kids. And we've tried to share it with others. They used to play games in the woods, and I don't really remember them being up in the woods as much as they seemed to think they were, because I can't imagine us letting them go up there too far without us knowing what they were doing. They said they went to their treehouse in the woods, and uh, I know we took walks, and sometimes a, a bunch of us would take a walk in the woods or up up the hill and we always picked raspberries and I would make jelly out of it and the little wild strawberries. Pears and apples. <laughs> wild cherries. Used to have a big field of corn. I'm sure they helped us the corn and pick it. We bought these small live trees to use for Christmas trees different years, and then we planted them outside. And now they are so big. When you plant something little like that, you never think it's going to get that big. We've seen a lot of wildlife on the farm, a lot of deer, especially in, in the fall. Lots of deer. Turkey. In the spring this year, we saw more turkey than we ever did. We saw one kind of a hawk sitting right on our picnic table out here one day. The birds like it here too. get a lot of different birds out there. We have blue jays and cardinals all year round. But in the winter the cardinals look so pretty on the white snow. Oh, Grandma's favorite bird was a cardinal. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Grammy left it out here too. But we 
always spent a lot of winters here and always got through them. Some of them worse than others. When our children were young, they came out here in sled ride. A lot of children enjoyed the place. For the reason, the Hardings and the Nevilles were here frequently in Sunday afternoons. I like everything but winter. <laughs> and I don't know if anyone's favorite more over the other. When the, the road's cleared, winter isn't bad at all. Never missed a day of work because of weather, never. I, I don't even think I was late because of the weather. Certain kind of snow is not bad to plow. I mean, it's just, if it's, it's not too terribly wet and not bitter cold. When it mixes with sleet and rain and snow, it's, it's a real problem. We always get through it. We've always had good neighbors, very good neighbors. We won the swimming pool when one of the radio stations was having a contest and Bonnie said, Mom, why don't you put your name in that? I said, okay, write my name on a piece of paper and she did it. So all of our kids learned to swim in the pool and all the grandchildren love to use it when they come, the great-grandchildren and the grandchildren.
can't believe so many years have passed. Lots of memories. The kids will have all those memories. Kids and grandkids and great-grandkids. They'll remember going to Grammy and Pappy's house and sledding and swimming and taking walks in the woods and eating chocolate cake, playing Thanksgiving and a beautiful spot in the world that God has allowed us to live on. I love my family, I'm so blessed. And I often thank God for this beautiful corner of the world where we live. Thankful for God it's worked out the way it has for us.